Hi, and hope you're doing well. I'm Jadi, and in this video, I want to show you a collection of silly tools. Yes, silly tools, useless tools, but they are cool, and you can use them for fun, for your PR. I even sometimes use some of them, especially two of them I really like, and always install them, and always use them time to time for fun. Uh, these are tools which help you look like a hacker in Hollywood movies, just like this one. These are websites which create fun interface for you or create animations and this kind of stuff if you want them for your background, for your video, just for your audience or to hype yourself. There is a terminal, I will show it later, which looks like a very old school retro terminal. I even sometimes do my actual job in it because it's fun. And we are hackers and hackers do love fun things. The first one is called pranks.com slash hacker. It's a website. You can go full screen so it won't look like a website in which you can do many things. You can open things, neural network, tracing, meaningless, password cracker, meaningless. It has a program console. If you click and just type, it will start writing strange programs. So if you want to impress someone, this is a tool, but this is not useful. Another one is Hollywood by Dustin Kirkland. Nice program, cool idea. It starts creating different sections in your terminal and run various fun things. As you can see, it was updated two years ago, so not much maintained, but not important. You can uh, just download it, clone it, and run bin Hollywood. It will create different Tmax-like sessions and start running some general real programs there, like top, like edge top, and different stuff, or even this, and these are fun, and we'll change them, so uh, maybe a nice background. Still not my go-to tool. The next one is a project called C Matrix. Everyone loves Matrix, and C Matrix will pretend to be in Matrix. I did a control C, so we can go with C Matrix. Normally, it will show a Matrix style animation. If I want to run it, I always do it dash. If I'm correct, B, C, blue. Show some bold characters. Color will be blue. Much nicer. Still not the one I really like. I use net a gen act. Let's see if I have it or not. No, this is hacker typer. Hacker typer is like this. You open the site only, hackertyper.net, and start typing. It types much faster than you and just types what I believe is a kernel source or something. Cool, if you wanted to use it in a movie. Ah, this gen act is the one I run when I need something in my terminal to just go for fun. Gen act, since I like it, let's check the gen act. Dash H, see the help. It says a nonsense activity generator. And the cool thing is it can generate different kinds of activities and you can check. Where is it? It's not here. Hmm. Gen act help. Ah, options. Exit after. It has some modules. Run only these modules. Okay, possible values are bootlog, cargo, CC, composer, crypto mining, SimCity, download, memdump, kernel, compile. Every time you run it, it randomly runs one of these modules. For example, if you say uh, gen act module kernel compile, it will pretend to, to be compiling a kernel. It's also very useful if you are working in an environment where you are compiling things. You want to go for a break, you just run this, go for a break, and whoever sees your computer, it's doing something. If you don't mention any module, 
it will run one of them by random and then switch to some other thing after some time. I really like this. This is what I run if I want to have a window running with some fancy thing on the background somewhere. But let's go for our sponsor. We were talking about computers. I am into computers. I enjoy working with computers. I know at least a good amount about computers, but still I really enjoyed going through this app and learn new stuff. Lately, I've been using Brilliant, and it's honestly the most fun I have had learning in a while. Whether it's math, programming, AI, or even technical things like neural networks or how Wi-Fi works, it's all interactive and hands-on. Way better than just watching videos. It actually got me picking up a pen again to solve math problems, believe it. I've been doing daily puzzles, learning calculus, and somehow build a 15-day strike without even trying. It's on my phone, just one tap away. And yeah, I've closed Doom scrolling apps to open Brilliant instead. No regrets. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash jati or scan the QR code on a screen. Or you can click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. I enjoy Brilliant, hope you enjoy it too. And the next tool I wanted to show you, I won't run this one, it's edX UI. It's very, very famous, so I'm not going to spend any time on it. It's a terminal like this, it will run some pings and will show you some cool data, and you can do different theming and everything. But what I use if I want to be on a cool terminal, I will use this project, Swordfish 90's cool retro term. You can install it on Linux and Mac, and you will have this. Oh, okay, you can run it from here for sure. Run program or from menu or really anywhere. Cool retro term. It's a retro terminal. You can go with whatever you do normally in your terminal. The shell is the same. But you have lots of profiles here. For example, you can switch to an Apple II format, or you can go with a, something more readable like IBM DOS. It's very cool. And the fun part is you can do your actual work in this. It's a terminal, just the looks are different, or you can customize it for yourself. So, this is something which I always use if I want to have fun or enjoy myself doing something and also gen act is something i go to if i want to have something running on the background on my screen the fun fact is even you know i'm not sure if you know nmap or not normally you should know nmap nmap is uh, a very very strong tool to check networks status you can check different IPs, see which port is open, try to understand what the operating system is. It's one of the tools that hackers use a lot. You can go with nmap localhost. It checks nmap is not installed. sudo apt install nmap. So we can go with nmap localhost, it will check localhost, it's localhost, so it's fast, it says these ports are open, and this is how this machine works, you can do this for other ports and everything, or check what operating system is, and other stuff. The fun part is, on the nmap.org website, there is a page dedicated to in the movies. In Matrix Reloaded, they use nmap when they wanted to show something great is going on on the screen. In Oceans 8, the same thing happens, even on the Snowden movie. Also, I believe somewhere when some important guy was visiting the NSA and they wanted to die, die Hard 4. When they wanted to show in NSA that something great is going on, when blah blah, I'm not sure who was visiting NSA, they was running 
end map on the huge screens to show something fancy. So you can also use end map. Hope you like this. I will link all of these and also you will find brilliant link in the descriptions. Thanks all for watching and have fun.